Hello students, welcome to today's lecture. Today we will see the chapter Force and Types of Force. At the end of this topic, you will be able to understand. In this video, we will learn about the force and types of forces. Introduction In the motion and types of motion video, we see that the objects that change their position are called moving objects. But how objects are move? Or do you know how things get up in motion? When we apply a force to an object, the object gains momentum, and this is what we call the moving object. For example, the force applied to the ball helps it to move in a forward direction. Force Force When a football player kicks the ball it experiences motion. But how the ball experiences motion? Think about this. While playing football, the player applies a pushing force with the help of his foot as shown in the video. As a result, ball experiences motion and moves in the forward direction. So the force is defined as a push or a pull which tries to change or changes the state of rest of a body. Students, I have to show some pictures for you. Can you identify the appropriate actions in the following pictures? In the first picture, we can see that the girl is pulling her trolley bag. In the second picture, we can see that the man is trying to push his car. In the third picture, we can see that the man is trying to bend the pipe. In the fourth picture, we can see that the man lifted the load on his back. Here we see that to pull push, lift and bend the objects, we need to apply force. Now, I am going to tell you some points that you will have to keep in your mind. No object can change its position on its own. Suppose a man is standing behind a stationary car. Will the car move due to his presence? No, to move the car we need to apply some force. If opposing force is not applied on a moving object then, it moves in the same direction with the same speed. Suppose you are playing on the slide. Unless you reach on the ground, you will remain in the motion. To change the direction of the moving object force is necessary. While taking a penalty kick in football, the player replies a force on the ball. And the applied force makes the ball move towards the goal area. When the goalkeeper jumps to save the goal, that time he tries to apply a force on the moving ball and the force applied by him can stop or deflect the ball. Force is necessary to change the shape of an object. For example, the force acting on a dough when we roll a roti or chapati 